Welcome, this is the Winko 12 inch sharpening stone. I've had this stone for about two weeks, but I've been using it heavily. I've sharpened about eight to ten knives on it so far, and I've been very happy with its performance. But there are a few caveats what you need to know about. In this video review, I'm going to try and give you all the information you need to make a decision as to whether the stone is right for you. I'm going to break it up into four parts. First, I'm going to give you an overview of what this product is. I don't think the website description is really accurate enough, so I think this will be helpful so you know what you're buying. Second, I'm going to talk about functionality. How does this product perform in practice? I've worked with this stone for about three or four hours nonstop, so I have a pretty good idea, I feel right now, about how it performs. Third, I'm going to talk about fit and finish. How ready is this stone to use out of the box? The short version is it's not. Do not use this on your knife as soon as you take it out of the box. I'll explain why in a few minutes. And fourth, I'm going to talk about value. This, this is a very, very, very affordable stone. It's a little bit more expensive though than what you'd find in a hardware store. I'm going to tell you why I think it's worth it. So let's get started. To give a brief overview, this is a silicon carbide stone. Now, if we look at the measurements, it is 12 inches by 2.5 inches, and it goes 1.5 inches deep. Now, silicon carbide stones are a special type of sharpening stone. There are a lot of them out there. Silicon carbide stones are really good at one thing, just one thing in particular, and that is beveling your edge reprofiling the edge of your knife. Now you probably already know sharpening happens in three steps. First, beveling the edge, cutting a profile into your knife. Second, sharpening, building that really fine edge. And third, honing, taking and polishing the edge and straightening it out, getting rid of that wire bead that forms. This stone over here this is only for stage one. You will not be able to use the stone to get a razor sharp edge on your knife. It's not what it's for. You will not be able to do it. You can spend hours with one knife just running it up against the stone and it will not feel sharp. This stone is only for the profiling. It is not for sharpening. There are other tools for that. A whetstone for instance, like this one you see here. 1000 grit, 4000 grit. 1000 grit is a good, um, good coarseness to sharpen with. This stone here, it's maybe about 200 to 300 grit on its medium, and I would say less than 100 grit on its coarse. This is only for profiling, it is not for sharpening, certainly not for honing. Now this stone is described as medium fine, I would describe this as coarse medium. It's a combination stone. This black side over here, it's very coarse. So coarse, in fact, I don't think it's even usable for most kitchen knives. I can imagine sharpening a cleaver on this or maybe a hatchet on this, maybe a lawnmower blade. I would not take a kitchen knife and use this side on it. This medium side, it's perfectly fine for uh, profiling a kitchen knife. I would not really do it on the coarse side. It's just too rough. You're gonna take off too much metal going to introduce way too many, um, you're going to introduce way too much, uh, too many scratches on that profile. So let's move on to the next part, functionality. For taking a knife and really carving out a bevel into it, I've done this with uh, about eight or ten knives so far, it works beautifully. We can see here, this is one of the Winko knives. I took and I cut a 15 degree angle on the bevel. These come at around 20 to 25 degrees. I think that's too steep. This knife is perfect. This, this uh, stone is perfect for taking your knife and cutting a smoother, finer bevel into it. It really makes the knife feel like a whole different knife. And this is the perfect stone to do it. Now, as I mentioned, I've used this for about two or three hours so far, 
non-stop and I don't see any wear on it. It still feels perfectly level. This is great. This stone is gonna last a long, long time. And I also wanna talk about the size. Now, if you go to your hardware store, you will get something like this. Really, it's the same material. But look at the size difference. This one costs about $2.50. This Winkle stone costs about $5. You can see the Winkle stone about over twice the size and where that makes an impact is when you're working with those really big knives. So if we take our knife over here, imagine we are going to have to go about three times as many swipes on this one as on this one. More than that so. You are going to be spending way too much time sharpening with this low one. You want something like this. This is perfect for profiling the larger knives. For smaller knives, it doesn't make a dif big difference. But for your chef knives, this is perfect. Moving on to the next part, fit and finish. Out of the box, whatever you do, if there is one thing you remember from this review, do not use your stone right out of the box. When I got this, it had little pieces of rock protruding out on the edges, coming up on the sides. Difficult to spot first, but you could feel them with your fingers. If you were to take your knife and start using the stone with it just out of the box, you will ruin the edge on your knife. Do not do that. When you get your stone, the first step is going to be go ahead and level it. Take one of these hardware swords and just run it along the top, back and forth until it's all smooth. And really, you should be doing that with any sharpening stone you get. Now the nice thing about it from a fit and finish perspective is even though it had edges protruding, most of the surface of the stone, it was flat. You did not have to spend a lot of time leveling your stone. For some of these smaller stones that I got in the hardware store, I have to spend 30 minutes just scraping up, up or one against the other to get them level. This one it was already pretty flat, it's just the edges. But those edges, they are important to get them out because they will ruin your knife if you don't. Moving on to the last part, value. This stone, like I mentioned, it costs five dollars. Five dollars versus a two dollar and fifty cent stone from the hardware store. This is a great value. You're, it's going to speed things up. You're going to be able to profile your knives a lot faster with this. Now, there are faster options. You can probably profile them a lot quicker with a diamond sharpener but you'll be looking at far higher price to do it. If you want an affordable way to profile your knives that's still rather quick, this is a good choice. I hope uh, this uh, video review was helpful for you. If you have questions, please let me know and I will be happy to respond.